Welcome to the Riders Club. The real insight into what went down in the last NRL round. Now I asked Japanese pole vaulter Harika Hitachi, after his event at the Olympics of course, to roll the tape for me. But poor Harika suffered the indignity of knocking the bar off with his penis. Well obviously we can't do it now, so we've had to bar him for making a knob of himself after his little cock up. But it's been reported that he has made an appeal to the people of the Olympics for being stiffed. So it's really, really hard to find a replacement, so I'm just going to roll it myself. <laughs> Thursday night last week saw the Doggies take on Manly, and while many, well, not that many, shed a tear that Manly were out of finals contention, the big talking point was the Morris Twins and their dramatic surge for the Golden Falcon at this year's oh, yeah. Twin Show Awards in our grand final show. A Falcon try assist here, <laughs> one twin to the other. I love the facial expression when it hits you in the head. Does Josh get the assist points? Yeah, he could be in the big league tomorrow. <laughs> it's about time he used his head. And the best post try celebration is one of the Glamour Awards we are announcing, and GI has brought back the Goanna just in time. While Tarek Sims encouraged all footy fans to vote for his as this week's best celebration. <laughs> Shout out to Mickey Gordon for making an effort. Well, <laughs> A pathetic effort to take out Moustache of the Year. Chris McQueen's got you covered, Mick, but this Broncos fan showed them all how it's done. You're looking good with that moustache. And while Marty Tapao is a big contender for Hairstyle of the Year, Doggies enforcer Aidan Tolman did his best to rule Big Marty out of the category by ripping his hair completely out of his head. Oh, I said, yeah, you come with me. Oh, he gets all of it all right. That's strong hair. Wow. Well, those braids didn't come out. And as Freddie got taken out by a couple of Bulldogs, out at Jared Hainoval, or Campbelltown Stadium, Titan and footy show favourite Connie Hurrell got his biggest scare from a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> and while the night's about a season to forget, it was great to see the fans and the commentators get excited over a simple kick for goal. I can tell you, Joel, the crowd has gone absolutely berserk. Well, if that night's fan is going berserk, Hate to see her when she's bored. Anyway, that's the week that was that made the cut for the Ryan Report. Back to you in the studio.